What are some of the ways we can tell that we are deficient? What are some of the conditions that result from that? I don't know that there's any specific condition that you can go, oh, this condition mm -hmm. means you're iodine deficient. But I think there's a lot of empiric evidence in the other direction, that if you have a condition, it might be related to iodine deficiency. One of the main ones is breast disease, fibrocystic breast disease, breast uh, cancer, um, all of those, in my opinion, are related to an iodine deficiency. There's been studies that have been done since 1967 that have shown that iodine deficient breast tissue in mice is the areas where breast cancer develops. There were studies that were done all the way through the 90s that looked at where DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ, starts, is in the ducts of the breast tissue. And in mice studies, they showed that the areas where those cancers started were the areas of the ducts that were iodine deficient. Mm -hmm. So I really believe that breast disease starts as an iodine deficiency disease. I think that goiters are an iodine deficiency disease. There may be, uh, um, uh, we know that iodine is a cofactor to insulin and that we can see in non-insulin dependent diabetics that if they get their iodine levels up and they do the other things with diet and weight loss and those things, that their insulin functions better, their own in mm -hmm. insulin that they make. So I think that there's a lot of empiric evidence out there. The other thing is there's a big connection between thyroid disease and breast disease. And you see it all over. There's, I pulled over 400 articles from the medical literature looking at the connection of women that have thyroid disease very commonly have breast disease and vice versa. And I think the two things that connect that together, the missing link, is iodine.